Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn how to copy a data disk. So of course, most Macs include only one optical drive. So how do you make a copy of a data CD or a DVD? Well, you could buy special software or you could use the built-in disk utility to make a temporary copy of that disk on your hard drive and then use that temporary copy to make a new disk. So you can find disk utility in your applications utilities folder. Now you want to make a copy of your optical disk. Here is a photos DVD. It's a data DVD I created with a few photos on it. I'm going to go in disk utility to file new image from and you can see the name of my optical disk there, photos. And then it's going to ask where to save this DMG, disk image file. So I'm just going to save it here on the desktop. And you can choose format. You can leave it as compressed here, take up as little space as possible. And no encryption. And save it and it will take its time and save out a copy. So you can see now on my desktop I've got the actual disk which is still in the drive and I have the photos.dmg disk image here. Now I can open this disk image up, just double click on it and it will open it up and if I look in the finder now I'll see that I've got this folder here called photos. It's actually this disk image. You can see it mounted here. So here's the file that contains the disk image. Here is the original optical CD and here is the disk image opened up and I can access the files on it. So it acts basically just like the disk itself. So having a disk image can be very useful. It's just like having the actual data disk with you. So if you need to travel and you want to take some disk with you, you can actually make copies like this and put them on your hard drive and leave the disks at home. Now it won't work in a lot of cases. For instance, you can't just make a copy of a store-bought video DVD like this. It's copy protected. And you can't just make a copy of most game CDs and DVDs and use those rather than the discs because they're also copy protected and won't accept disk images as substitutes. So now you can see I've removed the optical disk itself. I still have the disk image here and I've inserted a blank DVD to make my copy. After a few seconds the blank DVD will appear and I'll be asked to choose what to do with it. So here you can see what action I want to take with it. Uh, I can do all sorts of different things including Open with Disk Utility. I can use Open with Finder but in this case since I have Disk Utility running I'm going to select Open with Disk Utility. So what I'm going to do is make sure it's selected here on the left and I'm going to go to Images, Burn and there it will ask me to select an image to burn. So I'm going to select that Photos disk image that I made before and click Burn. And then it will give me this warning dialog here. I can look at some more options for speed and things like that and I can tap Burn to make a copy. So you can see here's the new copy of the DVD. I've also got the disk image still there. I can continue to do the same thing over and over again here just using that disk image to make new copies. It's very useful if say you put a collection of photos or videos together for your family and want to give a copy to every member. Uh, you can just create several DVDs or CDs uh, very easily like this and when you're done with it you can just drag the disk image to the trash. This will work great with data DVDs you create, say iPhoto DVDs. It will also work great with any video DVDs that you create. It just won't work with copy protected store bought ones. So there's a look at using Disk Utility to copy your CDs and DVDs. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.